Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 31st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes and a look at world weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours on our sun as we had quite a large plasma filament take off from the northeast region of our sun. Some pretty... Intense activity over the past 48 hours with X flare, 2M class solar flares, strong C class solar flares, plasma filament eruption, as you just saw there on the left hand side. Incoming imagery, a couple sunspots, Earth facing right now, and as well, a couple more getting ready to crest in. But in the outgoing position, this is where we saw this large plasma filament. We're going to see it on the left hand side. You'll see the plasma filament lifting equatorial region on the sun and then snap creating a massive cor coronal mass ejection not in an earth facing fashion but we do have one on the way from another CME having a quick look here a closer look at this large plasma filament eruption this thing's probably standing 20 earths tall and we've been seeing a lot of these recently on our sun going through so a pretty intense maximum solar cycle so far and for look at all of the activity here antipodal region opposite region and then the northeast so waiting for something to happen in the northwest, our sun is about to do something funky, something really bad for an Earth facing planet. Thank God this was not in an Earth facing direction. That is humongous. Wait until you see the Lasco imagery. Having a look at multi spectrum, this is where we could see plasma filaments sunspot regions and as well coronal hole equatorial turning away and a couple small ones there developing in the last few images here another look at 171 angstroms you can really see the plasma loops whipping around there just before the cme took off massive plasma film interruption Amazing imagery here. Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily daily events worldwide. And thank you all for watching. Another close look here at that plasma filament eruption. We are currently under a G1 minor geomagnetic storm. Expecting auroras tonight. Minor impacts on satellite operations are possible. Migratory animals are affected. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low C range right now, only producing one C-class solar flare, but we've seen the M-class and X-class, multiple C-class over the past 48 hours. KP index was at 5 earlier today as our solar winds were pounding us at about 680 kilometers per second. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight, expecting a minor Aurora for most of Canada, prairie regions, maybe as far south as North Dakota. Having a little real-time solar wind right now, 494 kilometers per second after being up well over 650. Topping out here at 692 kilometers per second. That was about 3 a.m. earlier this morning, UTC. And this was an expected geomagnetic storm from recent solar flares. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, 1C me taking off early this morning. Set to arrive third into the fourth. Slight glancing blow for Earth. Also, I just want to show you the little yellow circle is Earth. And then all the other planets are all around our sun here. Mercury coming around, getting ready for a retrograde 
in June, or sorry, not in June, middle of April. And there's that large CME taking off towards Parker Solar Probe yet again. We've seen multiple CMEs taking off there recently. But that is huge CME from the plasma filament eruption, which we just witnessed with SDO. I have a quick look here at Lasco 2, showing the last 48 hours of images and the most recent CMEs taking off from our sun. Watch in the top right hand side there. Wow, that is a intense plasma blast. The density of that is out of this world. Amazing stuff here. This is why I created this channel, folks. Our sun is going to do something it has never done before. And we're going to be able to witness some intense changes on the sun. And we already are. We already are. Another slow down look here at that CME. Intense solar burst. Wow. Our world seems to be going a little bit crazy. Sun's going crazy. Humanity's going crazy. Hold on, everybody. Daily Dew is here for you. Having a look at our national buoys around the world as we had two buoys going off early this morning in Chile. Showing a drop in the water levels there. Two buoys going off beside each other. That was pretty much where that 6.3 was yesterday. We've also got one going off here off the coast of Oregon. Looking at a drop in water. Buoy going into event mode this morning. Having a look at earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 250 earthquakes across the USGS. Interesting activity straight across California, increasing as well. Activity at Kilauea Crater, Hawaii. Alaska still seeing increasing activity as well. 5.4 here to report. Bonin Islands region, Japan. That was the largest in the past 24 hours. Also notable activity coming back to Indonesia. 4.8 here, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. And then Kermadec Islands, 4.5. And some deep earthquakes today, 543 kilometer depth, 572 and 561. So three very deep earthquakes today. Heads up and be ready for a larger shallower earthquake to follow. Having a look here, nothing to report in Chile since yesterday. But a 5.2 here, <clears throat> excuse me, at Tal Tal, Chile. That could be the region where those buoys are going off. Overlooking Europe, 4.8 there in Greece. As well, minor activity across the Eurasian plate. Notable earthquake here, 4.6. 160 kilometer depth though. Cocos plate, Caribbean plate, beyond watch. I still think Central America is going to go soon. Having a look at world weather, we do have some... Thunderstorm warnings and severe weather sweeping across the United States. Eventually that will make it to Atlantic Canada before another system comes in from the Pacific, develops into a Colorado low for next Tuesday into Wednesday and watch for snow, a lot of it across the Pacific Northwest and through Canada. Extreme weather will be popping up here and there across the central regions and Gulf states. <clears throat> Having a look at snowfall totals across the nation. South Dakota is set to get about 70 centimeters of snow. So that's two feet of snow over the next little bit. 50 centimeters through northern Ontario. 90 centimeters through Labrador. And then we've been watching those systems pound Alaska and parts of northern BC into the Yukon. They're expecting 200 to 500 centimeters of snow. Snow accumulating as far south as New Mexico 
Arizona, and as well, Sierra Nevadas of California. Northeast regions, United States could see a couple feet as well. Carrying on here around the world, there are no cyclones or typhoons to report, hurricanes, nothing just yet, just still some massive systems in the both the North Atlantic and the South Atlantic. Huge low pressure system here whipping off of South America. Trying to move northward, hitting very cold temperatures in the Antarctic, being blown apart there in the long range forecast. Having a look around the rest of the world, low pressure system, Northern Africa, daily evaporation rains through central regions. Overlooking Australia, and as well the West Pacific. It's still an intense low pressure system forecasted for southern parts of Australia, and as well possible cyclone there developing through Indonesia this week. Much love, everybody. We'll see you next video. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank God it's Friday. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.